I'm Frances Siegelman, I'm a sculptor, and we're in Leeds, my hometown. My name is Adak Hirsch, and um, we actually do a sculpture of me today. And it's for the Mackle Trust, which is a Jewish charity in Leeds. My name is Victoria Perloff. I'm here today because I painted a picture of Eric Hirsch. I read his story and I just couldn't believe what he'd been through. He had a unique experience as he survived the Holocaust and over 70 members of his family did not. The history is just too terrible. How he was telling me, you know, as a young boy in a little village, they were all going to school and doing their homework just like any other children. And then the Germans came and took them all away. The sculpture and the painting is going to be donated to uh, the National Holocaust Centre. I've been working there since 1995 when they first opened it. It's going to have a home and we're going to do an exhibition around it that will all be unveiled in 2018 for Eric's 90th birthday. Everyone's like, how does she do it in two hours? And I'm like, well, <laughs> she just does. I sort of started these very fast sculptures very early on and um, I found it amazing, the, f the speed, and I think I've got quicker. I don't have time to do it smooth and actually that's, that's good. You know, at home sometimes in the studio I, I do too much to them. His approach never alters. He is consistently warm and open towards everyone. I'm bowled over by the, the loveliest person with a wonderful aura and no bitterness inside him. I've survived maybe for a purpose, um, giving lectures to people in groups and so on. Eric and other survivors um, are here in the moment and able to share their stories. That man has survived these terrible horrors. Um, there are not many people that survived and it's um, just an honour to be able to sculpt him. People shouldn't forget what actually happened not so many years ago. Six, six million people were killed only because of the, they were a different religion. And um, the, when the world has never learned uh, things are still happening today.